Hello everyone, I'm CryptoNobs. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at the latest big news to do with Ethereum and Polkadot. We're also going to be taking a look at price analysis as well as a few other big things. So if you guys like anything I bring to you, don't forget to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button or share the video for more. And I want to know down below which cryptocurrency do you prefer, Polkadot or Ethereum? With that, let's jump straight into the video. So we'll start off with taking a look at the market as a whole. Overall, over the past 48 hours, the market has bounced back nicely from the bad correction phase that we've been having over the past few days. It is showing good signs of stability, but over the next few days slash weeks, it could head downwards, or if it's a positive case, we could see the upside, which would be a very good thing to see. Bitcoin at 10,744, Ethereum at 354, XRP at 24 cents, Chainlink at $10.37, and Polkadot at $4.34. But in today's video, we are going to be talking about Ethereum and Polkadot. But let's start off with Polkadot's price. Polkadot is currently at $4.34, its all time high is $6.79 but as you can see over here it is all in the red at the moment. Currently majority of the market has been in the red and it is about 30-50% to 50 down but some of the cryptocurrencies have recovered nicely. Polkadot does look like it is on track to recovering which is a good thing to see. If I show you on the 24 hour it looks attractive in my opinion that it is bouncing back. The 7 day again you can see here it looks like it is showing some form of stability and if we look on the 30 day it did have that big drop which you can see there but the whole market did have that big drop now the first article i want to show you to do with polka dot and in my opinion it is a pretty big article and it says Polkadot substrate 2.0 integrates oracles at a protocol level the blockchain can now see its environment and it says down here, the Polkadot team released on Wednesday a major milestone for its substrate blockchain framework, which now provides a way for blockchain applications to interface with the outside world without relying on external Oracle providers. Substrate is the name used for Polkadot's blockchain building framework. It provides developers with a variety of tools to design their custom blockchain for a variety of possible applications. The blockchains can then be launched standalone or integrated in Polkadot's network of shards or parachains. The most important feature of Substrate 2.0 is the off-chain worker. A development module that lets blockchains perform advanced computations or make their own web requests to the outside world. This system would allow Polkadot developers to build complex systems like price fee providers entirely on chain, removing some of the elements of trust involved. The issue of finding reliable data sources, the core of the Oracle problem, would still remain but developers would have maximum flexibility in the design of their dApps and blockchains. So overall, a very big milestone hit for Polkadot, which is a very positive thing to see. I personally think that 2021 is going to be absolutely huge for cryptocurrency. I think this is one of the biggest tests that cryptocurrency will have, and I generally think that 2021 will have a massive upside for quite a lot of the biggest cryptocurrencies out there. I personally think that Polkadot could be one of them, but I also think there are many other cryptocurrencies that will do well in this next bull run. This is the next article I want to show you to do with Polkadot and it says RockX launches a $20 million investment program for the Polkadot ecosystem. The Polkadot ecosystem is set to get a $20 million boost from RockX. And it says down here, digital asset development company RockX has launched a $20 million investment program to support the Polkadot ecosystem over the next five years. The funding, capped at a maximum of $500,000 worth of DOT tokens per project, will be provided alongside technical support from the team's developers. In return, the firm will receive tokens or equity from supported projects. RockX, which currently runs as a node for Polkadot, Cosmos, Solama, Oasis and Terra, was co-founded by Alex Lam, who also runs Asia-based Bitcoin mining facilities, Rock Miner. Lam said that the program is being launched with financial aid from a number of individual investors, who have asked to remain anonymous. He described the mystery partners as prominent DOT holders who are also long-term supporters of Ethereum. He said... They are guys who have been in the Ethereum community since 2005 and have supported the Ethereum ecosystem in the past via investments and building projects. 
Despite their financial contributions, they will not provide any influence over which projects are to be accepted into the program, a decision that will be made solely by the Rockex team. So some very interesting stuff happening with Polkadot at the minute. I want to know your guys' thoughts down below. Here's a quick little price analysis to do with Polkadot before we jump into the Ethereum news. And it says the 20 SMA, the white line, was beneath the 50 SMA yellow line, showing that the crypto asset has been in a bearish short-term trend. Dot bounced off its support at $3.88 and might face resistance from the 50 SMA or at $4.80. The parabolic SAR also gave a buy signal and can be used by traders to set a stop loss. $4.70 might be an area to take profit in as the awesome oscillator also showed a bullish crossover. While the overall trend might not have changed, DOT's bounce could have a little more upside before facing rejection. It is possible that DOT may rise past the $4.80 level while flipping it, in which case DOT would be likely to either surge or consolidate at the flipped level before surging. And if we take a look at DOT's current price, it is at $4.35. Now, I personally do not trade cryptocurrencies very often, but what I would recommend is if you are planning on holding cryptocurrency for the next year or two or even longer, these prices to me are very, very attractive considering the next year or two, they could be 10 times, 100 times, or even possibly a thousand times higher. Prices like these, I look at them as super sales, Black Fridays, whatever you wanna call it, it's a super sale to me. Yes, it could go down even more, I completely understand that, but if you're in this for the long term, prices like these are very, very attractive. It is now time to show you the latest news to do with Ethereum. This is the first article I want to show you and it says Ethereum getting ready for Spadina testnet next week. The dress rehearsal testnet to practice the risky parts is ready to go live for the eventful launch of Ethereum 2.0, but not everyone is excited to stake. The Spadina testnet of Ethereum 2.0 has been scheduled for Genesis before the month ends, on September 29th at 12pm UTC as per the dev update. The means next week, address rehearsal, testnet for the community to practice sending deposits, launching beacon nodes and validated clients starting from Genesis. It is a small scale testnet that will last just 3 days with 1024 validators with the main net spec requiring 16384 validators to launch. For the eventful launch of Ethereum 2.0, Spadina's deployment was announced a couple of weeks back following the Medela testnet going live last month. This mainnet configuration test network will run parallel with Medela with the aim to practice the more difficult and risky parts of the process before reaching the mainnet. Ethereum 2.0 is expected to go live later this year or early next year with the phase 0 launch but not everyone is excited to stake. A good 65% of 287 respondents of a survey revealed earlier this year that they intend to stake 32 Ethereum. However, the extremely high fees and congestion on the Ethereum network are making it unusable for small players for now, as we reported Coinbase will no longer be covering the gas fees for its users. The Ethereum gas price is too high due to the increased network activity which means that we also have to find avenues to either support this increased inactivity or to reduce it, said the co-founder of My Ether Wallet. According to him, this can be done by increasing the block gas limit to a safe amount and also by utilising existing layer 2 solutions. So some very interesting stuff for Ethereum so far. Here's the next article I want to show you and it says how well did Ethereum do in the face of expiring contracts? And it says down here, Ethereum spot has remained on fades by the expiry of nearly 460,000 Ethereum options contracts on Friday. The contracts that made up for almost $450 million in open interest on expiration dropped to $342 million as highlighted by the data provider SKU. Although the drop in open interest was normal after such a huge expiry of contracts, Deribit, the largest venue offering Ethereum options contracts, saw a significantly big drop. However, even after the aforementioned expires, the options market continued to show bearishness. In fact, this was highlighted by the put slash call ratio as it jumped from 0.88 to 0.92 on the charts. 
This meant that there could be a sell-off underway as traders opted for more puts than calls. Although the bearishness had not yet translated into the spot market, it could be possible that it will only be visible by Monday. Now I personally think that this year for cryptocurrency is one of the most important years that we've had purely because we will have the answer as to whether or not it will become a part of our future. If it does, which I think it personally will, I think cryptocurrencies like Ethereum and others will be big, big players in this space because you will see a lot of adoption. I personally think Ethereum has the potential to become absolutely massive and there are even people out there that are calling for a 7,000 Ethereum if Bitcoin goes to $100,000, which I personally think is absolutely huge. Its all-time high was $1,400 and it's very, very possible it could beat that quite easily within the next bull run. Now this is the last part of the video that we are going to be talking about today and it is an Ethereum price analysis and it says Ethereum formed a bear flag, a bearish pattern with a projected drop to $260 for ETH in the coming weeks. In the near term the price has bounced off its support at $318 level and could test the new resistance at $363 within the coming days. Yet the chart suggests some bearishness as well. However the trading volume on the latest surge was trending south as shown by the orange arrow. This suggests that the price hike was not backed by the buyer's interest in the market and could spell another drop for the crypto asset. And if we take a look at Ethereum's current price, it is at $358. If we take a look at it on the chart, it does look like it is bouncing back ever so slightly, which is a very positive thing to see. If it does give you any reassurance about the crypto market at all, as you can see here, this was the March crash that happened very, very quickly. It jumped all the way down. Uh, Bitcoin went from 10,000 to basically 3,000, but then recovered very, very quickly. And the rest of the market has seen that since. And if we take a look at the, two, the whole year chart we can see here in 2018 where we had that mega crash so these things do happen in cryptocurrency and it is a case of being lucky or unlucky or being able to read it just my opinion and my advice would be just buy the dips if you are able to if you're in this for the long term buying the dips is one of the best and most effective things that you can do if you are not chasing the market daily then it's a simple case of you could either wait and wait for the market to show bullishness and recover very very well or you can simply just keep stacking whilst the market is down which is what i am personally doing and if the market goes down and down again then i will just keep buying at these lower lower prices because the crypto market time and time again has recovered from bad situations which is why it is effectively famous for its volatility now ladies and gentlemen that is everything i've got for you in today's video if you've enjoyed Enjoyed anything I've brought to you don't forget to smash that like button hit the subscribe button or share the video for more and I want to know down below which one do you prefer do you prefer Ethereum or do you prefer Polkadot thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it I've been Crypto Nobs thank you for watching hopefully I'll see you in my next video peace